Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today is a very special video. Hopefully, you'll enjoy it. Um, it's an unboxing video. Um, those of you that don't know, I'm a collector of Fast and Furious cars. I'm a huge fan of the Fast and the Furious. So is my girlfriend, Maggie. She loves the Fast and the Furious. We watch those movies constantly. We just went to see uh, F9, which was a... Uh, fantastical <laughs> it was it was it was a good film but anyway <clears throat> let me have a seat here there's some stuff over there on the table i'm gonna show you some of my collection i'm gonna show you what i'm unboxing um i waited about a month for this thing that's a mess youtube hey <laughs> facing the wrong way but anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to unbox this thing. Um, here, let me show you what it is. Veilside RX-7. I believe here they're calling it Fortune 7. It's from a Pico 64. It's a true 64, true to scale. It's not by any means cheap. So um, I'm going to open that up for you. And hopefully you'll enjoy watching it. I have a turntable. And um, I'll also show you my Fast and the Furious 64 Premium collection, which I took out of that case, which, as you can see, is half freaking half of it is Fast and Furious cars. So I'm not done yet. I'm still missing at least like seven. I also have a bucket down there. See that bucket right there? Oh, actually, let me show it to you before I... Ah! Those are all my customs, some of them. When me and Maggie went to see Fast and the Furious, uh, F9 They were handing out well, they were selling these buckets see it spins like it's made of tires, I guess But anyway, <laughs> these are all my mainline uh, Fast and the Furious cars that um You know that I use either for customs or for whatever uh, Maybe today. Yeah, I still need a premium one of these um, I have a red one of these anyway yeah, like there's a premium one right there of this. This is the regular. But yeah, anyway, I'll show you all that off after I unbox that. So, hope you guys are ready. Let's uh, start this off. Ha! Okay, guys, let's get to the main show. I can't wait to uh, pop this open. Uh, believe me, I thought about... Um, I'll keep talking while we look at the box. So, I really thought about not opening this just because it's so expensive uh there you go not sponsored they have no idea i bought this or who i am <laughs> but it did take about a month to get here from china so made in china 164 scale now all trademarks are reserved but uh, as you can see there's veil side here but i don't see any mazda mentionings anywhere like except the little rx7 right there <laughs> like uh let's take a look at the jada 124 scale so this one's much bigger obviously <laughs> 164 but um yeah see at least here it says mazda rx7 but there's no mention of veil side anywhere like not on the window nowhere there's a little j right there but uh yeah just fast and furious so yeah it's interesting how uh different um, <clears throat> rights can be reserved or bought, I guess, in different countries, I don't know, or it's China, they are like, whatever, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I thought this was pretty cool, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan, if I had two of these, I would probably save one in the box, but, um, I really don't want to save this for some other guy in the future to open and probably destroy guys you live once if you can open it that's all i gotta say nothing wrong with keeping them sealed it's all good man uh, i collect some things that are sealed but things that i really want to see and care about i'd rather open them you know i hope this just slides off i don't wanna like i'm saving the package <laughs> definitely not gonna ruin this packaging Okay, so that just slides off. Cardboard. There you go. Let's keep that there. And this is just... You know what? Like, uh, Kaido House, actually. 
kind of has similar boxes that he puts stuff in. But yeah, there you go. There's your uh, information for it. It's really very nicely presented. I like it this way too. But it'll look better with all of them in my display case. <laughs> I know it's not a Hot Wheels, but um, Hot Wheels doesn't make this. Um, honestly, not too many people make these. That's the only reason I paid so much for this, because um, it's like an exact replica. Uh, to scale and all that good stuff. Wow. Would you look at that? Mark, would you look at it? Would you look at it, Mark? Dotson man. I know it's not a Dotson, but I'm sure you would love this car. <laughs> Split window in the back. Did I not notice that or? Oh, look at that. So split window here, no split window in the Jada one or Jada. I honestly don't remember if this is the way it was. Split window, huh? <sighs> Interesting. Well, all right, let's uh, take this off the thing and put it on a little rotisserie. And then I'll show you the rest of the collection that I have. A lot of those are customs, actually, believe it or not. All right, uh, let's see. What do we need? We need a uh, Phillips. Yep. Oh, one second. Gloves. There we go. Gloves. Yeah, some of these cars, especially when they're, like, you know, expensive, um, I'd rather not put my finger oils on it. <laughs> All right, Phillips. Here we go. Just one screw. Tip to all of you, if you're ever doing this, put the car upside down in your palm, then unscrew it. A lot of people do this. They're like, do do do, then it falls. Like, I have a leather table cover, so even if stuff falls here, I'm fine. But, you know, tip of the day. Kind of like King Nut teaches you guys to uh, cut away from yourself. Yeah. I teach you to unscrew face down. <laughs> Face down, ass up. That's the way we like to unbox. There you go. All right. So, a little thing there. How many of you just cursed in your head? <laughs> All right. So, wow. The mirrors move. Focus, please. Look at this. Ah, can you even tell? Yeah. So, the mirrors, I believe, are rubbery. Which is kind of like how Mini GT and all those do it. But yeah, the detail is insane. Here. See, they painted all the little rivets. Which is amazing. Oh, there's uh, people that packed it. Their fingerprints are on there. See that? On the roof. Son of a monkey. You know, you try your best, but the manufacturer himself... <laughs> Excuse my American messes things up okay so there's a little bit of a uh, like paint stuff on the front here and this front lip looks bent but that just looks how the plastic is itself that wasn't like damaged or anything that's just how it came out which is sad so it says peacock 64 whale site fortune 7 yeah, they're like, oh, we don't have the rights for uh, Mazda. No, it doesn't feel like it's a that good of a roller. Let's see. Yeah, this <laughs> this does not roll well. See how the wheel just locks up in the back there? There we go. If you put any pressure on it, that's over. But, you know what? They spin. Mostly. <laughs> But anyway, it says it on the box, adult collectible, it's not a toy. It's literally you do what I'm doing with it and then put it in a display case and um, I guess spend more money on more toys. I don't know. I love this thing. So technically I got this for Maggie because this is Han's car. She loves Han. Who doesn't love Han? Come on, man. I mean, that's why I have the 124 scale and those other 124 scales over there. Oh, excuse me, burps. There we go. But yeah, all right, cool, man. So yeah, there you go, guys. The uh, Veil side, uh, Mazda RX-7. Really beautiful detail. 
everything's painted the way it should be well except that front is a little weird but i'm not gonna cry about it if it's from the manufacturer you can't really get too pissy yeah you can even see the fingerprints on the black bits right here see how you can kind of see the reflection of the fingerprints so someone was holding it like this probably assembling it you know wear gloves dude jeez what no gloves in china come on brah come on brah you must be rolling in a hyundai <laughs> all right anyway uh yeah sorry guys i'm just staring at this i'm not looking through the camera i'm just i really love it like look at the headlights are clear what do you some people call them lens lights or whatever you can see the plastic stuff inside and then it's covered by a separate plastic piece can't really show you i think you can kind of tell right but anyway veil side on the windscreen man that split rear split split window like a corvette type of thing i didn't know that i really i'm gonna have to check out tokyo drift see what's going on in there but yeah all right so i forgot about this <laughs> All right, let me lower this thing real quick for you guys. I should have just had this on here the whole time while I was talking to y'all. There she is. Yeah. So yeah, there's my uh, RX-7. Han's car from Tokyo Drift, Fast and the Furious. Um, after the first Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift is my absolute favorite movie. Uh, same with Maggie, actually. So, uh, yeah. And this car is pretty much super iconic, man. It's it's Tokyo Drift's... Alright, trying to make this even nicer for you guys to, to enjoy, if we can focus at all. But yeah, it's, it's iconic, just like, uh, you know... Brian's Eclipse right here, which is from the original Tokyo, uh, Tokyo, from original The Fast and the Furious. Uh, this thing blew up from a nitrous being shot at by Johnny, Johnny, I want to say, it's not Trejo, Johnny Trejo, <laughs> um, Johnny Tran, uh, who drove this car, Honda S2000. I'm gonna do some clever segues as I talk about these things and show you the cars. So, anyway, new car, welcome to the collection, buddy. You're going in the case today. Let's put you over here. Uh, so people can still kind of see you peeking. There we go. All right, so the S2000, um, I picked this up on eBay, actually. Uh, there is no premium version of this. So I literally... Um, I had a silver, a silver uh, S2000, and uh, I took, it was a premium, so I took the metal base off of that, I took the, the wheels that were on there, I actually don't really like these wheels, but they kind of match the snowflakes, so I was like, alright, that works. I don't know, we'll see, maybe I'll do the, all of the raised parts, maybe I'll do those gold or yellow so that it kind of matches the flakes, but I probably won't, because whatever. But anyway, so yeah, there you go. Uh, the headlights are actually painted on this regular mainline S2000. But yeah, this is a Johnny Tran's freaking car. Uh, the way it's been drawn out. All his um, deco and everything. The graphics and stuff. I love this car. So yeah. If they don't make it, um, if they don't make it in a premium, I'm gonna make it <laughs> myself. <laughs> I literally have a, at least 10... Um, Fast and Furious cars that they don't make in premium that I just made premium on my own. And dude, they feel like nice and heavy, just like a premium car should with a metal base and everything. So yeah, uh, if they make another one, I'll just replace, you know, that one with, you know, this one with that one. But for now, I'm actually very happy with that, so I don't care. But anyway, Johnny Tran raced Jesse, who I wish would, um, I wish they'd bring him back because... Nobody seems to die in Fast and the Furious, but <laughs> Jesse was the first one to uh, to go. 
uh, dude, I follow that guy on Instagram. He's a great dude. Um, he actually, I think, owns one of these. And uh, just a good guy. I recommend checking out his Instagram. If I remember, I will leave um, a link down in the description. Or right here. Like, right, right here. Check it out. I probably, I will forget to do that. So, there you go. Just look him up. <laughs> All right. So, from there... Let's show you... Oh yeah, let's go back to Tokyo Drift, right? So since this car is Tokyo Drift, let's check out my Tokyo Drift cars. So, um, from the official premium sets that they have from Tokyo Drift, we have this guy. Oh, this is the uh, Skyline uh, GTR R33. So if you guys remember, this is the one that the two girls were in. And... Um, Han was being smooth pimp. They were doing like donuts around them. He was like, <laughs> and then the the girl from this car gave him her phone number. <laughs> so there you go. But a really beautiful car. Um, honestly, um, if you look at these lines, a lot of people don't like it. They're like, oh, it's a girl car or whatever. But uh, the way these lines work around the uh, the top fender and the front and the back fender, <coughs> excuse me, it really accentuates the lines of this car. It does make it look more female. Like it's really cool. They they really thought about the paint job on this car. Definitely a girl's car, uh, paint job for a girl's car. Um, well, in this context anyway, but. It's very curvy, very nice with the stars. <laughs> you know what I mean. All right. <clears throat> oh, I got a phone call. I'll be right back. And I got to drink some. My throat's like drying up on me. All right. Next we have Sean's freaking first car that he destroyed in that race with the uh, home improvement guy. <laughs> home improvement guy. So yeah, <clears throat> oh, geez, what was this car? Um, it's 1970 Monte Carlo. I actually just sent um, Honest Diecast. Uh, oh, sorry, focus. All right, Honest Diecast. Uh, uh, Derek, uh, I sent him one of these that I customized, and uh, I did that car. And um, it's called Illusion Orange. It's the same car, uh, same color that I sent the Mustang to the Mustang Hunter. Uh, that was also an Illusion Orange. It's a really good, uh, I love that powder coat color. And um, yeah, I, I don't have anything right now I can show you as an example. But you can go to one of their channels and uh, check that out. Yeah, no. Go to, uh, uh, go to the Mustang Hunter channel. Focus, man. Or go to Derek's uh, channel, which is called uh, Honest Diecast. And you can see some of the customs they got that are this color, not this color, that are Illusion Orange, because uh, this car looks great in that. But anyway, here's uh, Sean's car with all of its in-progress things. Some Bondo, some stuff. All I did was do a little wheel swap, which is temporary. I'm going to put just all black wheels on here later. But for now, I just put like Goodyear. Oh my god, it just won't focus. For now, I just put Goodyear tires uh, on there. It kind of fits, you know, with his accent. Alright, next up from Tokyo Drift is the famous Mona Lisa. Look at that pretty girl. This is a nice car, man. I think I need to zoom in or something, because this is not working. There we go. That's kind of better. So there's the Mona Lisa, beautiful wheels, beautiful paint job, everything's great. I hate how like sometimes packaging from the manufacturer, see how the roof is a little messed up? If you keep it in package too long, or if it's like upside down like this, you will ruin your car, or even like the back of it, the part that touches the cardboard. That's another reason, <clears throat> unless it's like in a display case like this one for the veil side, if it's just in blister package, <clears throat> dude, if, if your boxes or cases get moved around a lot or like you touch them often, 
you might ruin your cars. So just be careful with that. But other than that, uh, guys, just invest in a $100, $200 freaking case and display your cars there. <coughs> Damn, my throat is really... <coughs> I'm dying on you guys. All right, let me have some water. Oh, God. All right. Uh, moving on with Tokyo Drift. <clears throat> Sean's car again. This is another custom I had to do because they do not make this Mustang in premium for Tokyo Drift. So I had to do it. There you go. I got to shorten these. Uh, see the axles? They're a little too long, but it's okay. Even for a display, you just kind of push them on the side and it looks just fine. So yeah, there's, uh, there's Sean's car. <clears throat> Oh, there we go. That kind of works better. So, yeah. <clears throat> All I did was do a wheel swap on that. I I love this car in the movie and in real life. It's beautiful. Had the uh, the Skyline engine in there. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sure you guys know. All right, another custom I did. This was the first Tokyo Drift custom I actually did. This is DK's car. The uh, Z... Whatchamacallit? Nissan 35... 350Z. I am special. I actually knew that. I'm just filming and I'm nervous. Believe it or not, I still get nervous when I film. So, there. There you go. So, this one I did a wheel swap on, as you can tell. It looks much better. I wonder if I have one of those in my bucket. To kind of compare. Bucket cars. Bucket cars. Do I have a 350Z in my bucket? I probably do, but I'll stop looking for it. But anyway, very proud of this one. I got this right when those uh, five packs came out. Actually, the, the wheels are perfectly sized and spaced. See, nothing's hanging. Believe it or not, the wheels on this car are huge, man. Um, the wheels are from, um, uh, what do you call it? The Hot Wheels Transport set. These are These wheels are actually from the Nismo truck from the Skyline and Nismo 2-pack. So, uh, yeah, these wheels came off of the actual, <laughs> the transporter truck, of all things. So, yeah, anyway, fit perfectly in there. Like, you can tell how, how much smaller those wheels are to compared to those. Look straight out of the movie. But anyway, you guys know Hot Wheels aren't true six through 164 scale. They're roughly 164 scale. So uh, they they can be bigger. They could be smaller. You never you never know. Okay, <clears throat> uh, that's it for Tokyo Drift cars. I wanted to show you guys something. Those of you that love Fast and the Furious and you've uh, you're a huge fan, uh, have you ever heard of the movie called? Better Luck Tomorrow. Uh, if you have not heard of Better Luck Tomorrow, I highly recommend that you see that movie. Uh, don't watch that with kids. There's some uh, uh, bad things that happen at, at one point or another during the movie. You don't want kids to see that. But Better Luck Tomorrow is basically... Here's a hint. This is Han's car. Yes, this Han. The same Han that drives this car. So, Better Luck Tomorrow is technically a prequel. <clears throat> uh, hopefully I blew your mind. Hopefully you never heard of it, because it would make me feel special. <laughs> but no, uh, hopefully uh, you guys have never uh, heard of Better Luck Tomorrow, and you will freaking go and watch that movie. It's amazing. It's basically the same director, I believe. And it's, it's literally, it's Han. Like, it's not a different character. It's still the same guy. Um, it's before Fast and the Furious, so it's technically they're not like, oh yeah, this is Han, you know, whatever. But it is the same character, and uh, the director, I believe, uh, brought him over from his movie Better Luck Tomorrow, and uh, named him Han to continue the same character. So in this movie, he was smoking cigarettes, like chain smoking them. That is why Han eats snacks all the time in Tokyo Drift and all of the other movies. So there you go. There's a little trivia. I'll, I'll stop talking about Better Luck tomorrow because I don't want to spoil anything else. But uh, yeah, if you want a nice prequel to Fast and the Furious that has nothing to do with racing, but Han's in it, it kind of shows you when he was younger, like in high school or whatever, and what he was hustling, what kind of stuff he was up to, and uh, you know, 
uh, stuff like that. So yeah, he was always a, a hustler. So yeah, check check out Better Luck tomorrow, guys. If you're a true Fast and Furious fan, you you have to, man. All right, uh, just gonna rapid fire uh, the rest of these because I have about 52. This makes this makes 52. So uh, let's go with just showing you what I got here. Got this Lamborghini right here. This is a Lamborghini Aventador Coupe. This is uh, all of these are Fast and the Furious casts, so uh, that's where they all came came from. That's what they are. All right, Lamborghini. We have uh, Let Letty's Corvette from uh, the one where Dom goes rogue. I don't remember which freaking number that was, but. <clears throat> anyway, this is the custom Corvette Stingray. Lady drove this one when they were trying to capture Dom. Then we have another Corvette. Oh, this one has a tiny bit of story. This is a Zamac. You can see right there. But what I did was I got rid of the meatball. And I got rid of a couple of other um, <clears throat> markings on it. So I only left the Zamek part just to keep it a true Zamek and left this stripe in the middle because in Fast and Furious, uh, one of them, I think the fifth one, I don't remember, uh, they have one of these that's silver. And the official Fast and Furious one, I really don't like it. I know I used to have a ton of them. But anyway, <clears throat> this is one of my least favorite castings. Uh, but as a Zamac, it's awesome because it's bare metal, so uh, I did a wheel swap on it, naturally. So yeah, I took a Zamac apart, put some real riders on there. Now it's a beautiful freaking Corvette that I can have in my Fast and Furious collection. But yeah, honestly, I don't like the, the other ones they made, the official Fast and Furious ones. It's exactly the same, they just painted it, um, like, gray. But yeah, this one has white headlights. A little bit of Zamac. There you go. <clears throat> okay, this is Lamborghini Gallardo. There you go. I'm not a Lamborghini fan, guys. I don't know if I ever told you that, but don't like them. <clears throat> I like the original Countach, the white one that everyone does uh, likes. Acura. Oops, this NSX. Yep. 2017 Acura NSX. Then we have this bad boy. This was the 69 Camaro. <clears throat> I believe this was the Yanko. Oh yeah, I didn't glue this in yet. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, another custom, well, another wheel swap I did. It is the official Fast and the Furious Camaro. But um, I wheel swapped it so that it looks premium and it looks better than it did before. But yeah, I did that a lot to the basic Fast and Furious cars, just because they just didn't make them all in premium, which made me sad. That's what I like to collect. Yeah, if you guys ever want to know, like, hey Nas, what do you collect mostly? Fast and the Furious cars. That's my main obsession. Um, then I absolutely love Mustangs. I have uh, probably close to <sighs> over a hundred. Uh, Mustangs that I have in case my collection um, I have maybe 10 or 20 that are still on card but I open all my cars pretty much there's this white BMW I believe this was uh, original first casting that they did so thank you Fast and Furious for getting Hot Wheels to make us some amazing freaking castings man beautiful BMW Love BMW. I used to have a 525i uh, straight 6. I used to race that car. I also had a 1987 Shelby Lancer that I also... I used to street race back in the day when I was in high school and first couple of years of college. Definitely don't anymore. Now I have a stupid Jetta that I don't like. <laughs> Gets me around though. My air conditioner is uh, 64. It's... um. You do 60 and roll down four windows. That's my air conditioner. All right, you got the Escort, another one of Brian Brian's cars. Brian O'Connor. Sounds like a cop's name. All right. Nissan, what is this, Sylvia? Yep. Nissan Sylvia S15. Beautiful car, very clean. All you have is a little 
sticker right there. There we go. Uh, next up, 70 Plymouth Cuda, the AAR. I believe this is Letty's car also from one of the movies. Really nice car. I love the the matte black graphics on the side there and on the hood. See, again, this is damage from the blister. This had nothing to do with me. I wear gloves when I touch these, so it's sad. I would love to have a replacement for some of these that have this minor damage and then maybe customize these or something. I don't know. I'll get there. It's no big deal. None of these are worth that much money. All right. I don't think they made too many of Mia's cars. You know, Brian's wife, the one that gave him a child. But uh, yeah, Mia had a, in the original movie, she had like a blue, I think it was a Nissan Maxima. I don't remember. But yeah, <clears throat> they never made that in any kind of casting. So, so far, as far as I know, this is the only car they have that is Mia's car. She drove this in when they busted Dom out, uh, when they... Remember when he was being transported on a prison bus between prisons and they like flipped the bus and no one died? Yeah. She was driving this in that heist. So I love the NSX. It's a beautiful car. Uh, 2003 Honda NSX Type R. So yeah. Beautiful car, beautiful wheels. Yeah. Alright, moving on. Uh, this is another custom. Uh, well, I did a wheel swap on this. Uh, uh, doesn't even say which car it is, but for a mainline, look at that. You got a two-tone roof and that little gold thing on the hood there. <clears throat> That's a lot for a mainline car. So I put these, I don't know what you call these, like dish or steelies. Uh, Mustang Hunter, help, help me out. Do you refer to these as steelies? You're like the king of knowing the names of rims. But uh, yeah, I put, these are, obviously these are uh, real riders, rubber tires. <clears throat> so yeah, I think it looks good on this car especially. It's like a low rider. I like it. So yeah, there you go. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. Okay, next one. Also a wheel swap. Uh, I bought this on eBay. This was a um, Subaru WRX STI. They do make this in premium, but um, when I bought it, it said premium, but it wasn't. It was a mainline. It had mainline wheels, plastic base, but uh, I mean, I only paid like four bucks for this, so I never pay like too much on eBay. Like, if you're a scalper, I'm not going to pay you money. <laughs> if you if you have a reasonable price, because not everyone that sells stuff on eBay is a scalper. Like, remember that, guys. Not everyone's a freaking scalper. Some people just need to sell some things from their collection, or they just have some extras, or they're done with their collection. Like, not everybody's a scalper. But anyway, unfortunately, this was a basic car. Uh, as you can tell by the headlights not being painted, the back not being painted... But uh, at least it has the side tempos and the uh, black hood. So it's it's kind of like a place ho holder now in my Fast and Furious collection. Hey, Brian Scar. <clears throat> All right, from Fast 9. This is the car that uh, Luda and um, uh, Tyrese and what's her name were in when they pulled up to Dom's house in the beginning of the movie. This is the Jeep track something or other. 2019 19 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. Trackhawk, that's it, yeah. So there you go. Beautiful car. I like it. Then from Fast 9, you have Dom's Tinyumajig with the magnet in the back. I remember before the movie came out, everyone was like, what is that in the back? Is that a motor? <laughs> uh, yeah, no one knew. So it's uh, not a motor. 68 Dodge Charger. But yeah, it looks good. I like that little stripe on the back there. It's pretty cool. The wheels are really nice, matching the stripe. Love the matching of things. Makes things... Uh, the rug pulls the room together quite nicely. Alright, this is one of the newest pieces I got. This is, uh, let's see, 66 Nova. Beautiful car. Gotta love the Novas. 
painted very nice. Look at that grill. Beautiful rear. I love these wheels. These are like the best wheels. Anything you put these wheels on, it just looks like jewelry. It's perfect. But yeah, there you go. Uh, it probably says Chrysler. Something on the back of that. It says something back there. Can't really make it out. It's too uh, too blurred. But anyway, cool. Nice car. Okay. This guy and this guy are... Um, these are the same casting. 1970 Chevelle. Just double check on that. 19... Oh, wait. Yeah, Chevelle SS. Chevelle SS, yep. Uh, 98, 98, yeah. So anyway, these are both Fast and Furious um, castings. Uh, this one I put these beautiful uh, red wheels. Is it really just focused on this one area? That's it. I hope so. This video will suck if none of this is in focus. bring this closer and zoom out yeah all right so i think these wheels were like perfect for this car i don't know what do you guys think they're like deep dish red matches the red of the car just perfect and this one i put these on i'm not too happy with it i feel like the back wheels are a little too big but technically they were that same size as uh, on the basic car they were just shitty wheels you know Excuse my French, but uh, I think it looks good. Gray wheels. There you go. So yeah, nice cars, man. <clears throat> like I said, if they don't make them in premium, I make it myself. Okay, moving on. Another Fast and Furious casting. This is Nissan Silvia S14. Another beautiful car. Oh yeah, I got this on eBay. I actually okay. I I went back on my word about eBay. There we go. About about paying too much, but uh I think I paid uh this was loose, not even sealed, but in great condition. Um I want this for I believe like fifteen dollars plus shipping and stuff. So yeah, but if you want this sealed and you got you want to get this on eBay from somebody, this will end up costing you like twenty twenty five dollars. So since I opened mine, I was like, dude, I I don't care as long as it's in perfect condition. Send it my way. I want it. So yeah, the Smokey and the Bandit car, which is also a Fast and the Furious car. Those uh, two guys drove it. I forget their names. There you go. <clears throat> All right, another car from Fast 9. This is uh, Dominic Toretto's brother's car, John Cena's Mustang, from when he was young and he raced Dom. This was the Fox Body Mustang he did it in. Ooh, here's Dom's car from that one movie where he raced that car that was on fire in Cuba. <laughs> he gave this car to his cousin after he won that race and got respect. Uh, from his family naturally right but yeah look how cool this is everything's very beautifully detailed look at those rear lights impala on the side beautiful grill all metal it says chrysler on the hood love this car i love all these cars man like <clears throat> fast and the furious has just been a part of my life and the first first movie I saw, I was still a street racer, believe it or not. And uh, me and my friends actually went and watched the movie, and then we went street racing after the movie. It was it was fun, man. Those were the days. Yeah, that's right. Twenty years ago. <sighs> Time marches on. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Master, master, where are the dreams that I've been after. Here we go. Love this drift car. I believe they, they're saying this is Letty's car. I don't remember this Dodge Challenger drift car. 
but yeah, this is a Fast and Furious car, basic basic car. I did a wheel swap. I put yellow rims on here. These are from a uh, Subaru WRX. So there you go. This is a beautiful car, man. Yeah, I had to uh, had to make it premium looking for my collection. So cool. All right, got a black BMW. It's cool, nothing crazy. The car that flies between buildings. That doesn't focus. <laughs> I need to get rid of that light under there. It's really throwing things off. Let me see if I can fix that with this. I think I did. Alright, let's raise this up a little. Lower it down a little more. Sorry guys, having technical difficulties. Yeah, that light was, that's what was playing with the focus actually. Look at that. We're doing much better now. Cool, we'll, we'll show it on my mini Dollar Tree crates. Everyone who's going to ask me, hey Nas, where'd you get that freaking mini crate? Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. You can get this at Dollar Tree. Probably, I don't know. They probably don't have them anymore. Alright, oops, sorry. Dang it. Okay, now I have to, Ow! Apparently ride the wheel of my chair over my freaking toe. Damn it, that hurt. All right, let me move these guys over here because I'm out of reach. All right, we have this uh, ja Jaguar right here. Another lovely automobile that we can't zoom in. on. <sighs> there we go. There's the Jag. I like it. You better like it. Then we have, uh, this is from Tokyo Drift 2, the Mazda RX-7. I believe they reused Dom's Mazda RX-7 to have this. <sighs> Another cool car. Yo, guys, the driver of this in uh, Tokyo, uh, stop saying Tokyo, in Fast and Furious 2, um, he has a Kangol hat that I really want, and I can't find it. It's probably too expensive now because it's vintage or whatever. But yeah, if anyone knows where I can get that Kangol hat, let me know. <laughs> Alright, uh, 87 Buick Regal GNX. Look at this beauty. Yeah, that's nice. Really beautiful car, man. That's all I can say about that. <laughs> then we have the same car that they did for James Bond's car. Except James Bond's is all shot up. I don't necessarily remember seeing this in the movie. I think it was like some casino shot or whatever. I love Aston Martin though. I love all of the DB series. This is the DB5. Yeah. So. Beautiful car. Like it. Alright, moving on to what's up here. Okay, you guys probably remember... Uh, this car, this was the bad guy's car that ended up being murdered by Brian. Well, no, Toretto murdered him with his car, and Brian held his foot to make sure he didn't get away from uh, Toretto's death mobile. So, uh, yeah, they murdered that guy. That was crazy. Fast and the Furious, alright. It's okay, he was a bad guy. Is it okay, though? I don't know. Alright. Then we have our usual suspects. I owe you a 10 second car. There you go. There it is. This is the second release because of the, the rims are much nicer here. All right, I already showed you this guy. Also a re-release. I have the original. I'm not going to show it to you right now. It's behind me. Got too many cars to show you already as it is, but uh, they definitely did a better thing by swapping these wheels man these are much better than uh the first release everything else is identical i looked very closely <laughs> so yeah th this is just amazing car man <sighs> man 20 years guys okay i already showed you this johnny trans s2000 Jesse's Jetta. 
There we go. This is, uh, oh my god, the GTR R33. I forget his name. Remember, he's he's the one that was like, uh, streets closed, go home, pizza boy. Yeah, that guy. I think he only came back for like one movie at some point, I forget. But yeah, this is the original, you know, original gang, man. Original tuna, no crust. That's why, uh, here, I'll show you the next one, which is from that same, you know, here's Letty's car from the first movie. 2000 large. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. There you go. I'm trying to hold myself from uh, doing a lot of quotes. <laughs> if I was doing this with Dotson Man, uh, Diecast, or Mark... <laughs> He would help me out with some comments here. You never had your car. All right. Oh, okay. So next, Dom's car from the first one, of course. Gotta love that. Remember, I was like, yeah, they reused it. There you go. Same car. They just uh, put different stickers on it. <clears throat> All right. Also, Dom's car. No need to even tell you anything about it. Beautiful casting. They put the, the rims on that I love. I love those things. Oh my god. But anyway. There it is. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Next up. I got Brian's freaking Mitsubishi Evo that I wheel swapped. I'm still not solid on these. I don't know if I like the yellow on green. I mean, they look alright, but, you know. Uh, obviously, this was a mainline casting, so the headlights aren't painted. None of the other details are painted. But, uh, you know, I have a placeholder, so that's why I wheel swap these. They still look good, and maybe one day when I... Uh, I need to buy one of those really small brushes so I can actually, like, maybe start painting some of these. I'm just not a big fan of uh, doing extreme details. I have shaky hands. Leave me alone. Stop picking on me, guys. <laughs> no, no. I'll be doing more detailing soon. All right. This is one of my favorite ones. I was going to do all three. You guys know why I would do all three. I just did one to represent them. I almost did a custom out of the blue one that came out last year. But when I heard that they're re-releasing that, that casting in black, I was like, oh my god. So I just waited for this to come out, did a quick wheel swap with, yes, you guessed it, my favorite freaking wheels. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the heist cars, man. There she is. It says Rogers on the side of it. Yeah, make sure I get my cut. All right. Next, we have Suki's S2000. Suki! There you go, from Tokyo... Uh, not Stop saying... Uh, guys, obviously, I'm in love with Tokyo Drift. But anyway, um, Suki's car from Fast and Furious 2. You know why I keep saying Tokyo Drift? Because to me, Tokyo Drift is the second part. It's basically like, I love the first one, then Tokyo Drift. <laughs> so for me, it's like, yeah, there's two movies, that's it. <laughs> the rest are James Bond. But yeah. Uh, where was that custom? So, here's a Johnny Trans car. You know, same car. There you go. But yeah, I love that I was able to get a metal base for Johnny Trans car. Because, like, there's no difference between these two cars. My custom and the uh, uh, Real Riders car right there. I mean, they're identical. It's just this one's not riveted, you know, I glued it back. Which I'm actually going to start learning how to uh, do better with um, drilling out uh, the posts Ugh. and putting screws in them. All right, Brian's GTR from Fast and Furious 2. <laughs> the car that got ruined in the very beginning when the cops caught him with that stupid electrical whatever thing they shot at his car and he hit that um meter parking meter oh fun fact did you guys know that that parking meter that he hit in a movie he wasn't supposed to hit that 
yeah, they just went ahead with it because, hey, he already hit it. <laughs> it worked, you know? So there you go. I make lots of customs out of this casting. I love it. Okay, and then we have Brian's The Racer's Edge. <laughs> there it is. Got this one in a trade from my boy Ruben on uh, on the internets. He's a he's a master hunter. <laughs> he doesn't have a YouTube channel, so I can't give him a shout out. But Ruben, leave a comment down below, man. Let them know that you're here. They can check out your Instagram or something. But yeah, got this in the trade from him. So thanks, Ruben. All right. Uh, what else did I not show you? Yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it, you know. So there you go. There she is. This is the the reason for the season. <laughs> uh, I had to get this to add to my collection that you just saw, and uh, I'm very happy with it, man. Kind of disappointed in that little dent, but uh, it's not that big of a deal, really. I can fix that if I feel like it. I'll just probably leave it alone, though, because well, whatever, man. No one's gonna see that in my display case. But all of you will know. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, Alright, I think I showed you all of my Fast and the Furious cars, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me take this camera off the tripod and just kind of show you what it all looks like here. So, there you go. I have to take these guys down from here. There we go. There's the collection. I absolutely love all of these and it's really not that big of a deal that I do some wheel swaps like I collect for myself I really don't care about how if they raise value if they drop in value like I'm getting these for nostalgia for my memories you know there we go rest in peace Brian standing by your car like snowman um, all right did we go through these there you go I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I'm trying to like make sure it focuses on them. I'm getting a new phone soon. This one's starting to give me some trouble with the focus lately. I need phones that are the best for video just because of YouTube. There we go. Oh yeah, I was leaving this for last. <laughs> Good thing I was doing that. Check this out, guys. I got this in a trade from the world-famous Mustang Hunter. If you guys haven't heard of him, check him out. The Mustang Hunter on YouTube. Uh, I got this in the trade from him. And... Uh, Hey man, one of his viewers sent him one right after we traded. They're like, oh yeah, I noticed that you, uh, you know, you gave this one to Nas in the trade. So I wanted to send you one. <laughs> I was like, holy crap, how lucky is that? So yeah, Jason, dude, thank you for the trade. This is one of my absolute favorite pieces. Because someone that loves Fast and Furious and someone that loves Mustangs. This is like a almost a trifecta. <laughs> I also love classic, you know, muscle cars, so, but yeah, I don't know, can we see? Jason, this is what you're missing by not having it out of the package, man. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that metal base. <laughs> I love this car. But yeah, man, Jason, we gotta do another trade soon, man. Give me a holla. Bala? You're a bala. Give me a holla. I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm sorry. All right, so these are my Jada 124 scale ones. I'm trying not to collect 124 too much. Just the uh, the basic iconic cars that I love. So there you go. And that's it. There's the uh, there's the spread. Here's some. Uh, since I have you guys here, check these out. These are all customs that I did. Look at this gold one with real riders on it. This Skyline has some wheel swaps. Got this little 70 Honda in raspberry racing pink. Got some Skylines right here. Bone Shaker, Porsche. 
Sorry, I, I enjoy making videos, guys. And, you know, since you're here, I'll show you more stuff. Look at this. I got the, um, this is the ID HKS GTR uh, Skyline right there. I also did a metal base swap and metal wheel and uh, real rider wheels. So this is now officially a, I mean, you have your detail everywhere. You have your spectra flame. You have uh, real riders and metal base. So this is pretty much premium right there. Doesn't get more premium than that. Uh, did a wheel swap on this Liberty Walk. Those look good, I think. A white bone shaker. Uh, by the way, I'm all sold out of these white ones. I need to make some more. Just have this one left. Here's some more. I got another uh, Honda Civic, the HKS. Did a wheel swap on this bad boy. The base is still plastic because I haven't seen... I don't know if they make this in premium. Here's a powder-coated Datsun, also wheel swapped. I like this green a lot. Powder-coated, by the way, guys. I always have to say that because a lot of people think it's still paint. I'm like, no, powder coating is not paint. You're literally melting dust over metal in a four to 500 degree oven. So that's not paint at all. <laughs> uh, look at those wheels on there. Yeah, I love these things. Man, I love customizing these cars. I've actually started buying uh, some water slide decals to make these customs pop even more. Here's another Datsun with a very interesting, unique powder coat color. They're all very glossy paint. It's kind of hard to show you here under this light. Here's a candy purple Spectra Flame with yellow Real Riders on there. And another Mazda RX-3. I used the metal base and wheels for another custom. So I put black, uh, what do you call these? I forget. Some black wheels and the black base on this car, which makes it look really good. So there you go. That's some of my customs. I have a lot more. I'm getting ready for some shows. But uh, if you're interested in any of my customs, give me a holler on uh, my Instagram account, which is uh, Instagram at or nostalgic underscore tv at instagram so check that out nostalgic underscore tv and that's it <laughs> that was my collection guys i hope you enjoyed the fast and the furious collection i hope you enjoyed some of my customs and most of all those of you that clicked on this video you were like oh hey he's doing a, an unboxing why is it over an hour long <laughs> Thank you for watching. That's why it's so long, because Fast and the Furious means a lot to me, and um, to me and my girlfriend, Maggie. So I got this for both of us uh, to enjoy. We kind of both collect these. We love watching the movies. We love doing, like, weird, funny trivias and um, making jokes about it all the time, making fun of Vin Diesel <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, everybody. I, I love that movie. I love all of those movies. Can't wait for the next 20 that are going to come out. They're all going to be like racing in like scooters inside of a Walmart. Just like, get out of my way. Live my life one aisle at a time. Cheese aisle to freaking diapers, adult diapers aisle. Anyway, I'm going to stop now. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah. So, yeah, be good. Live long and prosper. And remember, don't be assholes. See you next time. Bye, guys.